Dream of the Red Chamber is also known as the story of the stone. In fact, that is the title of the best English language translation, which is by John Hawkes. That is the title of the best English language translation, which is by David Hawkes and John Minford. The novel begins with the goddess Nuwa patching the sky. And I can't remember exactly how many pieces of jade she has. It's, I think, maybe 30,000 and 54, <laughs> something like that. And there is one left over. There is one recalcitrant stone that will not fit. And so this stone is briefly set aside. And the stone makes the acquaintance of a crimson pearl flower. And the stone catches water and nourishes the flower. And both the stone and the flower are interested in, in the problem of passion. And they want to be born in earth so they can experience human passion. And in fact, that is what happens. The stone is reincarnated as Baoyu, which means precious jade. And the flower is reincarnated as Daiyu, which means black jade. Because Baoyu nourished Daiyu in that other pre-existence with water, she owes him a debt of tears which means the, the alert reader knows the novel cannot have a happy ending. The plot of the novel is basically Bao Yu lives in a garden with his cousins, Bao Yu, Bao Chai. Bao Chai means precious hairpin. Um, and a, a number of other cousins and very talented maids. Um, and the the plot line of the, of the novel is which of these two wonderful young women is Bao Yu going to marry? And I think as the novel progresses, the novel, the, the reader realizes that he probably can't marry Dai Yu because she's sickly and there are all sorts of problems. But yet there is kind of a way in which some of the tension in the novel is you kind of want for that to happen. The other plot line that happens in the novel is the Jia household, um, Jia is Bao Yu's family name, begins very rich, very prosperous. And I think with the understanding on the part of the reader that, um, that they're good people. And one of the things that happens um, over the course of the novel is um, they are revealed to be corrupt. Um, there is usury going on. Um, there are all kinds of things going on that they need to do because they are running out of money. They do run out of money. Um, and so it, the, the house of Ja falls apart and, and falls. So I think there really are these three intertwining plot lines. Uh, the connection of life on this world to life in the other world where um, it is foreordained that, that Bao Yu is going to make Dai Yu weep her whole life long. The marriage plot, which actually I think in some ways really resonates with marriage plot in novels like Jane Austen novels. I mean, I, I, my friends who are not China specialists who love Jane Austen, I give them Dream of the Red Chamber to read, and usually they read volume one and say, yeah, I loved it, but I'm not sure I can read four more volumes. Um, and then the, 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 decline, the decline of the House of Jia. So that is, that is the basic structural plot of, of the novel. Um, it, is told in more than a million words. So what I've done is just give you a, a skimming of the surface. <laughs>